Welcome to uh, December 8th of Let's Talk About 25 Days of Christmas. Today we're talking about Prep and Landing. Tomorrow we're talking about Prep and Landing 2, Naughty or Nice. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. Wayne gets a new rookie partner, Laney, after his previous partner got the promotion he wanted. Laney has to remind Wayne of the spirit of Christmas and the importance of being an elf in Santa's Prep and Landing unit. Elite unit. This came out in 2009. What, did you guys ex what, what is your guys' experience with this movie, yeah? I don't think I've seen this one. Watching there it you. like watching it like hey. when it came out and never watching it ever not ever never watching it. I mean, my memory's <laughs> fuzzy. I can remember Oreo Cakesters, but I can't remember every movie I've seen. I've seen it, but I barely remember. I only, wa I only watched it when it when it premiered. Yeah. So like Imagine if movies were edible. Yum. Anyway, guys... so we got a little background for this one. Not, not really. This is just a nice Christmas special that's kind of nostalgic to me. Um, I just threw it onto the list, and I put the second one on there just kind of to fill it out area. <laughs> this filler. Well, oh, hey. there's always so many good Christmas specials we can watch, except for, you know, the, the snowman. Uh, hey, no, that just means one. that uh, the next time we do this, it's going to have a lot more <laughs> open spaces, a lot of things to pick from. I, I don't like that snowman from the last one. Just earlier today, me and Pop were uh, watching the Christmas light from 1995. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> it's also a movie that has a guy dying and becoming a snowman. Okay. okay, okay get I don't, get I don't the, like get, I don't like Jack Frost. Okay, listen to this. We watched All right. uh, I'm just like we're having a breakdown and like every, you're just like talking like like just I'm just like, having a breakdown, you're just like Oh, so we were watching this movie earlier. Legitimately me, me and Gindy watched a, a, like it's like a special, okay. This guy sings a song that was what could even be called a song. It was more of like a statement, and he sings it, explodes, and turns into a snowman that is that is like a power like a powerful god for no reason. See like a mood. Yeah, that know. one might be fun for us to dig up uh, next time. Wait. What is this? Oh, never mind. So, prep and landing. Are you prepped and are you ready to land? Not really. I've been having, I've been struggling to download all the recordings of the of the last Let's Talk About just so I can catch up on the editing because I've only done the first two episodes and it's it's up November thirteenth. So, I, and it's so Ooh, it's Friday it's such the thirteenth. Such a jumbled mess. The all recordings Ooh, are just scary. a jumbled mess. So I go download them all individually, just and then I gotta sort them all out. So, word to the wise: Memento Mori. Hey, here's another word to the wise: if You're recording a podcast. Download the episodes well after after you're done recording them. That way you don't have to sort them all out later on, because you you record it likes to lag out. So you don't know what you gotta record. Well, you don't gotta. Anyone I mean, what who you gotta gets download that download doesn't now. get it. I hate life. <laughs> Wait, should I have laughed at that? Probably not. Anyway, so... Come here, snowman! Hey, snowman. it's alright. He's not real. He can't touch you. Candy. Only in your nightmares. I... I mean, you don't... You didn't, I didn't tell you about this. Legit, last night I was letting my cat out at like 2 a.m. I had legitimate anxiety that he was going to be outside. Wow. Like legitimate anxiety. He was just gonna like like lean over like he did in the movie and just oh my god. <laughs> Do I need to mail you a Nerf gun? I need therapy. Can you get like an can you get like an anti Michael Keaton snowman spray? <laughs> I, I, spray it on like a bug spray. Jack Frost. Just go watch the other recording if you want to hear me just have a mental breakdown about a snowman and and the. Hey, maybe you can get some of that uh stuff. The spray from Frosty Returns. I don't know. Summer Breeze. Oh, isn't that? I think that's like the one. Isn't that the one with John Goodman in it? 
Where you played Frosty? I think? That one, I wish I had that to the list. It is such a good... We have to watch that, like, next year or in a free time. It was the one that has, like, Captain Knuckles play the villain. It's such a freaking... It's such a funny special. Like, it's like a genuinely funny special. If you if you haven't watched it before, definitely I'd recommend watching it. I'm gonna be in the North Pole in a bowl. All right. I don't think I've ever seen it. I mean, chicken burger, because that's, like, what I live on. I mean... Chicken burgers... Hey, I mean... How many podcasts have I, we have recorded where I'm eating a chicken burger? Like, this I think this might be the second one. Alright, well, we're gonna go watch this, I guess. Um, yeah. We'll hopefully see doesn't, you in the hopefully next I, one. Hopefully I don't get PTSD like I did with the last movie. Bye! This should be a good... Oh, wait, is it, no, wait, is it what you're gonna say? Oh, this should be a good palate cleanser from the horror movie you watched. <laughs> yep. It's jingle time. Open hangar doors. Doors open. Cue Rosebud. Instruments are holly jolly. Rev up the engines. <laughs> yeah! 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 Back from watching the movie. That was short. Yeah. That was so short. Hey, well, it has a charm to it. Sometimes. Pretty charming. You don't always have to have the longest movie. You just gotta uh, take a minute and enjoy the little stuff in life, you know? Th that was such nice animation for um, 2009 on TV. That's nice oh, animation God, yeah. in general. It's nice animation. Like, yeah, it's nice animation now. Yeah, like Disney, you're holding out on us. Like, like how? That's how like, is this 22 minute long Christmas special got better animation than something like Wreck It Ralph 2? <laughs> I mean, Ralph <laughs> 2. I'm just I'm saying, how? Again, Disney, this is your you first gotta, time. This you is your first time your watching game it. Up. Uh, again, this was your first time watching it. What did you? What did you, What was your overall thoughts on it? It was a very charming movie, and I really like some of the voice cast. Using Dana Schneider. Or, no, wait, Dana. J no, that's someone else. <laughs> no, no, Dana Smith or Master Shake's voice actor. Okay, could could you look up who was the main elf? Because I think he was Flick from from Bug's Life. Uh, hold on, Dave, hold on. Let me uh, look. Dave Foley. I'm looking at. I'm look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was um. Yeah, he was Flick. Huh. Never knew that. Now you do. That's that's what we I do mean, on this podcast. It makes we learn. Sense. Oh yeah, we learn, we, we grow, we cry, we, we get PTSD from a stupid snowman. <laughs> hey, it's gonna be all right. No, it's not. But at this rate, maybe to get that bad snowman out of your head, I'll have to find some other snowman to help reinvigorate your memory. Mm. I just, I don't know. I, I I, I, uh, I think I'm, I'm going to have to go to therapy. Um, legitimately? Maybe. It depends. I, last night, I was letting my cat out like 2 in the morning. During the movie, while we were watching the movie, he like came close to the screen and I legitimately screamed. Um, yeah. Yep. I was I genuinely afraid. I scream like that in a long time. <laughs> I was genuinely afraid he was going to do that in real life yesterday. I, that's not even People. a joke. No, that, that, like I legitimately had anxiety about that. That's how like terrifying this snowman is. And I don't get scared of like everybody's like, oh, it's a kitty valley. Oh, it looks creepy. I don't get scared by that kind of stuff. But it legitimately <laughs> just scared me. He's scared than the actual other. He's scared than the other other actual horror movie called Jack Frost. Um. So that German Shepherd in the movie, it's literally, it's literally, um, 
just a retextured bowl. Yeah, yeah, Disney's just recoloring their own OC. Mm -hmm. Hey, hey, to be fair, Maid Marian was like rotoscoped on top of an older Disney character. But hey, what? it's like The Simpsons once said, animation is built upon plagiarism. If someone didn't rip off the Honeymooners, we'd never have the Flintstones. Uh, though uncredited, the voice of Mrs. Claus appears to be the voice of Betty White. When did Mrs. Ooh. Claus appear? Wait, when she didn't did, appear. She... Did, did she didn't appear, did she? I don't know, I don't know. I don't remember her appearing, that's weird. We literally just watched the movie, so... Maybe it was like a the short. very brief early moment. Maybe. Um, this is a pretty short. I think this is going to be a pretty short podcast, honestly, because it's a pretty short thing. But this is like five minutes. We've only been recording for five minutes, so we got to talk about something. Uh. <laughs> um. Well, we to talk about other than it was nice. Or... Was the movie similar to that of a previous film? It's not like that at all, though. Something we've seen before. It's not that like... also it's... has to deal with elves trying to get a special bike for a kid. It's not like Earth or Christmas, though. It's similar, it... but it's not at the same time. Like, it's just, you know... Yeah, but it ki it's kind of like it. It's like okay, if yeah, Earth got cut into two elves. And, like, what would happen if the, uh, kid actually did see him? The kid does at the end, though, and, you know, and he looks like Santa, and she's like, Oh, Santa! Oh, Santa! Santa! Oh, my god. <laughs> Santa! <laughs> Santa! I know him! That's a review. That's a... That... Oh, look at that! It's, uh, after prepping Landy 2, we're gonna be watching that one. Wonderful. Ooh! Spoilers, but, you know, should we record that tonight? Eh, we'll, we'll discuss that later. <laughs> um, let's look at their user reviews and try to get to them on IMDb. Alright, there's about 16. Let's see if I can find something that's, like, someone who hate, just hates it. Sorry, I was spacing out for a second. <laughs> I don't know if anyone hates this movie. They have to talk up ever talk about it except like ABC Family like once a year. Yeah, Prep and Landing is a yeah. good Christmas movie. It's yeah, it airs on the ABC Family's um totally not ripped off by me. Uh, Twenty five days of Christmas. I mm, mean, that's their original idea. Yeah, totally. Hey, to be fair. Lego has the advent calendar, so it's kind of like that. What? You know, the advent calendar. You, like, open it up, and, uh, inside there's, like, little Lego things for you to build. I meant, like, how is it like that? Because Ooh, it's 25 I days. I found you a open up the box every day. I found a 4 out of 10. I found a 4, found a four out of 10 review from, a uh, Horst in Translation. Uh, from 10th of October 2013. Uh, pretty underwhelming for its premise. <gasps> Warning, spoilers. So if you haven't seen the movie, which I, I it's on Disney Plus, so go watch it there if you haven't. Um, when Pixar unite and Pixar and Disney unite in order to shoot half of an hour special for Christmas holidays, starring a bunch of elves, you'd expect nothing but greatness. Looking at how both have delivered the animation sec sector for decades, unfortunately, despite success with the Emmys. I thought the final result came out rather short. Wayne, the lead character, is played by prolific actor Dave Flo Foley. And also on board are Sarah Ch Ch Chucky, uh, Roseanne, uh, from Roseanne, I guess, starring in one of the later Scrub seasons at this point. At that point, Peter Johnson and Derek Richardson, who currently playing alongside Charlie Sheen, Sheen in your management. Veteran elf Wayne's per- Ah! <sighs> Give me a second. Okay. Veteran elf Wayne's partner is getting gets promoted. So yes, okay, it's just going on with the plot, whatever. That was a terrible review. It made me have a stroke. Um, come back. I'm Hello. here. I'm here. I have always been here. 
find another review though. They're all positive. Positive reviews aren't that good. Well, they're good because it's a good, mo it's a good short, but like I don't. It's wanna... not that entertaining. Yeah. Hey, it's like, you know, it's like a little uh, snack between meals. You know, you don't want to commit to a full Christmas movie. You just need a little bite-sized Christmassy goodness to uh, hold you over until dinner. You know. It's pretty. Oh, let's go to Rotten Tomatoes to see what we can find on there. Hmm. Okay. What Rotten Tomatoes a... rank it? No tomato. There's no to tomato meter, but it has a 77 audience score. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. Ke Kevin Carl says a fun, witty, and high energy spot that will get kids ready for for the Christmas spirit. In 2013, for some reason. Why is it all? Why they record? Why they recording it three years later? <laughs> Four years. All right, Sarah P. in 2011 says, "Very short. I didn't think it was anything great. It was nice, though. Yeah, it's peaceful. It's nice. I like it. It is pretty short, honestly. If it was longer, it'd be. I think it'd be a little bit like it. It, it could do better if it was longer. Yeah. I wish it was longer. Yeah. Well, luckily there's a sequel that we're gonna watch." You know, tomorrow we're well, we're gonna watch it tonight, but it's gonna come out tomorrow for all the folks at home. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or wherever all you are. All you lovely people. All right, December 29th, two thousand eleven. Rusty A says, "Very, very short Christmas special. Too short, in fact. A few more minutes put into this film, and this could have easily been a four-star movie because the idea was quite cute. Two stars is a bit misleading because the movie was actually good and enjoyable." But everything is squished together so tightly to fit into a 30 minute TV spot. It really diminishes the story itself and warrants giving only two stars. Not enough time spent developing characters or showing, or showing Lane, Wayne lose his spirit and the. Uh, where'd he go? And then <laughs> giving him back. <laughs> well, that's like a show more thing. I didn't know how to press that yet. A little more Honestly, time I put agree. in this and it could have been one of the best, more fun Christmas movies. So, yeah. Honestly, I agree with that. It could have yeah. used a little bit of length. Yeah, it could also have been longer. But let's Need play devil's advocate here. I mean, like, if you think about it, if you made it longer, it would just be, like, a bit too similar to other movies. I don't know. Like what? I swear to God, did you say Arthur Christmas? No, no. I mean, like... I think the movie told all it needed to. It had yeah, potential but... for a sequel, but... It had a sequel, that's what we're watching. Take it from someone who's written college papers, it's not always the best to make something the longest. Make it longer. <laughs> I'm, I'm, you don't want to fill things up with unnecessary things. Yeah, but in this case, I think it was just too short. Like, it could have used a little bit longer. I can, yeah. It, it could have been... It could honestly have you been extended out that, that to a full half hour. Can't look a snowman! <laughs> Wait, that's not <laughs> funny. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's gonna I'm be not. okay. <laughs> Hold on, I've... Hey, hey. I've got an idea. <laughs> I've got an, I've got my Nerf guns what? out. If that Daddy, snowman comes Daddy, at you, Daddy, he's making fun of me again. No, no, <laughs> I'm gonna help you. If they try to go at you again, I'm gonna <laughs> turn that snowman what? into a, a bunch of holes. No, no. bunch of holes. Dad, Dad, he's making, he's making fun of me. Well, make fun of him back. You're the one making what? fun of me. Oh, we'll make fun of me back. Uh, you're 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 you're, you're short. Um, I'm not. Oh. Well then. I'm, I'm the tallest one here. Lies. <laughs> well, on that depressing note, um, we're gonna watch Prep and Landing Two, um, tomorrow. Well, tonight, you guys are gonna watch it tomorrow. Okay.
please. All right. This, this is a short one because friggin' Pop gave me PTSD. Um, <laughs> Suffer. So, be kind. Yeah. yeah, be kind. Rewind. Don't watch Jack Frost or you'll end up like me. You know. Memento Mori. Alright, we'll see you in the next review.